uh, some, some counselors have their personal interest. They are not on a pro service delivery. They are not interested in knowing how to deliver service. Where do we get revenues? They are only interested in, in knowing how can we get our allowances, how can we how can we share. So these are the these are the arguments. They are not about service delivery. They are looking at the issues where they can be benefit as counselors, but not giving out service delivery because we have many many issues that we should look at as a council how can we get revenue how can we work for our people but they are only auditing where they can get their allowances instead of looking at the uh, how can we generate revenue to this council and we work for our people why is it that you don't depend in english you use your native language uh, of course of course in the council we are not at the same level. We have those who are educated, we have those who, who didn't go to school, and, we, and they are all in the council. Since now the, there is no the issue of qualification, we found ourselves all in the same council, and we have to use both languages. Some use English and others use local language, because it is acceptable and we cannot deny it. We cannot deny our members who, who didn't go to school, to, de to deliberate, they, uh, they, they, also, they all have to deliberate in their uh, languages. I <laughs>
Uh, uh, we, we, are, we have decided to have our council here at Imbarara City because our premises, uh, we have a small council hall and uh, we, are, we are preparing it to, to be renovated. That's why we have decided to use this council and we are in agreement with the city council. They, are, they know that we are here and uh, actually eventually when they shift to Kamukuzi, we shall also be occupying these premises because this, this place is under Mbarastenosi Division. Hello all viewers of uh, Fatwest TV. My name is Marklin Naewe and uh, currently the Deputy Speaker of Mbarra City North Division and the Direct Elect Councillor representing the people of uh, Kamkuzi Central and that is Boma Cell, Medical Cell or the Mbarra Refer Regional Hospital and then also Kashanyaz as my botanical village. Um, right here, I'm here to answer a question that I've been asked why in our council, some councillors choose to, to debate and air out all their views in uh, vernacular or our local language. Uh, the major reason is that basically they just want to be so elaborative and they want their people out there to understand them very well. Because you understand that back in our constituencies, not all people are really educated, but at the, same, at the end of the day, you're the person representing them. And you want your voters to get it right from your mouth. You want when you're airing out your, your views in council, your viewer, your, elect, your voter that is back in your constituency can still understand what you're actually talking about. It is more of a direct speech to them as compared to when someone actually reports to them. The other reason is that uh, sometimes why, they, why our honorable members prefer to debate or share their views in our local language is because sometimes it's very easy to explain even much more when you're using your mother language as compared to English. Sometimes in English, you might maybe run short of words. That's my assumption. And then also, not all the honorable members we have in our council are degree graduates or diploma graduates. Others are stopped at senior four, others stopped at senior six. And so you find, given the fact that they've spent a lot of time without uh, maybe speaking a lot of English, this, they can listen to it, they understand it, they can write it. But uh, in my understanding, I think it is not easy for them to be so fluent like they should be, especially when they are supposed to be sharing out their views and debating for their people.